Iman was a superstar. She ruled the runways of the international fashion scene for almost 15 years. Her grace, versatility, professionalism, and above all, her extraordinary beauty made her a natural. But in all those 15 years modeling, Iman says she never found makeup that suited her skin tone. Five years ago, when she retired from modeling, she had a vision. She wanted to create a line of makeup to meet the needs of all women of color. Now that vision is a reality. As we hurdle towards the next millennium, the minority of today's will be the majority. So the choices are having an African-American, a Hispanic, an Asian, and of course I could not ignore the Native American because she is the original woman of color in this country. The right foundation is all important. There are three categories of color, sand, clay, and earth. And in each category are five shades. They range from the lightest Asian to the darkest African-American skin tones. Makeup artist Byron Barnes uses a sand number two foundation on Asian model Kim Wan. To find the undertone that's true to her color, the best place we found is at the jawline, where the neck and the, and the face meet. How should the makeup be applied? The sponges have two sides. One side is a total sponge where you apply the foundation with. The other side, it takes the excess uh, makeup off. One of the problems Asian women have is eye makeup. What is best on her, on her eyes, is stay away from frost, stay anything but with highlights. Is stay with muted colors, natural tone colors, the browns, don't put too much black, trying to expand the eyes, don't follow a line that's not natural. Native American model Charlene Fournier has red undertones to her skin. This creates a problem with blusher. The no-no here is blue-red. And stay away anything that has blushes, magentas, all that vibrant colors. So the blushes, we're trying to keep it, for them, very undertones, very uh, earth tones. Does the same problem occur with lipsticks? Yeah, when it comes to lipsticks, uh, they have beautiful, beautiful shapes of mounds to accentuate that. Earth tones, which are brown tones, anything that's dark plums, yes. Iman says Hispanic women are often prone to oily skin. Her solution? An oil control undercover gel applied to model Jackie Santiago. It's made of silicate, it dries completely matte, and, and a girl should wear it under her foundation if she's very oily on top of the foundation. Facial hair is another problem for some Hispanic women. The solution here is the proper application of foundation. Instead of going upwards, definitely downwards. That would keep the hair down. And you, you apply the powders not with pops, but with brushes, because it'll just give you a hint rather than giving you a lot that will stick to the hair. Most African-American women have uneven skin tones. A creamy powder foundation is the solution for model Janine Green. If you find your right undertone, your right color for you, you can apply it one layer of it, and that's all. It will even the tone completely. The difference in color is often most apparent on the lips. We put moisturizing in, in these lipsticks and made them also the shades dark enough and strong enough, the consistency, so it's creamy enough to travel. That's E-Man with her new cosmetic line. Coming up, the 